Okay. So there, yeah, we're live. Hooray! And, and that's the camera, right? That is the camera. So if I want to make a tape to the camera, yeah, I go like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, Otherwise, I'll look at you guys. All right. So I'm stopping the music. Where's all that? There's a so there's a stream delay, like by 30 seconds. So now we're just hearing the start of us talking. Okay. I, won't, I won't keep that. Yeah, going. mute that shit. I hate my voice. Yeah. I just wanted to verify that we could hear it, you know. All right, so let's see here. There should be game audio. There it is. Okay, yeah, so it's picking that up as well. So yeah, watch the game. All righty. All right, welcome. Let's uh, get Zeno to it. Where did I put that remote? It's right by you. Ah. All right, I know so little about this. I want to watch the intro. Of course. I can't remember if it replays it when you start the game or not. Uh, this is just the very quick FMV that gets you to the menu screen. Right. Oh, that logo. How many, how many good games? <laughs> remember, this is from the era when Square was releasing like eight good games a year. Uh, oh, yeah. is the menu straight to the menu? If you hit uh, circle, it will be. All right. Ah, we're just maybe start. Maybe start, yeah. We're circle, circle, X, start. We gotta push this. There, you go. there, you there go. we go. Oh wait, don't press the place. What's the push and then goes back from that? No, I want a new game. Oh, I thought there was no talking about religion. <laughs> well, game's doing it. Game's doing it for us. Well, you know, um, this game uh, is frequently compared to Evangelion because, like, I think they both kind of came out in the U.S. around the same time, like maybe 1998, 1999, mm -hmm. and they're both, both giant robots. They both have giant robots, and they're also both notable for an attitude toward um, uh, religious references that um, some would call it maybe uh, how to put it a little bit pretentious. In that it's, um, you know, like, you remember in Evangelion when, like, things exploded, they would take shapes of crosses and stuff, you know, and they yeah. there were religious references that end up, like, not going for much. Xenogears does kind of, it's sort of the same approach where it's, but I think it's a little bit more fleshed out in this. Um, I know you're not really an Evangelion fan, Frank. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't remember much about it because I only got a few episodes in, maybe halfway through, before I gave up on it. But, you know, I sort of, you know, I'll let you listen to it. I'm not sure if you can see it at this resolution, but it says, you shall be as gods. No, yeah, I can't read what it says. I just see that it's words. It feels like it's a little grainier than I remember. Well, duh.
This was probably amazing graphics at the time when you first watch it. Perhaps, but, well, who knows. Yeah, there you go. You shall be as good. Do you remember who animated this, uh, these scenes, Mike? Was it production IG? I don't know. It's some relatively famous studio that had a hand in the animation for this. I have a feeling the captain is going down to the ship here. Nothing like pulling out a locket with some important people on it to telegraph. Yeah, that you're about to die. Well, it looks like you prevented opening that singularity below the planet, or whatever the hell was going on. Yeah, it's really unclear. They don't subtitle it for one thing. They're talking about using some mysterious presence, talking about using the ships like Jump Drive to attack, quote-unquote, the main planet. Yeah, but I didn't know what the main planet was. Yeah. Um, I won't comment on that now. That's okay. Please don't, yeah. Are you a person or a Zeno? <laughs> wow, she looks pretty human. Except for that hair, I guess. Well, you know, nobody's perfect. But what I was saying is that I kind of think of this as part of the, you know, like constellation, so to speak, of, uh, you know, like late 90s giant robot pretentiousness that... If you happen to be 14 in the late 90s, mm -hmm. fastball straight to the strike zone. Sounds bad. Chronic War Obsession. All right. I, sorry, I love this ain't tool of an ancient civilization around. Like, mm -hmm. it's, Of course. It's a staple. And wouldn't you know it, but these ancient tools just happen to take a certain form. <laughs> giant humanoid fighting machines. All right. Yes, that is how they do it. They do not usually like make their gears. They like excavate. They them. have to find them. At least is the at least is the backstory for most of it. Okay. Suddenly a mil mysterious military force called Gebler. Hmm. Gebler. Ave was able to recover from being outnumbered okay. to being to tying with his love in the north. Okay, so the so so Ava's, things, so, Ava's got the upper hand. Yeah, so things have gone from Ave being at disadvantage to having the having the advantage. Yeah, all due to the this mysterious force known as Gebler. Of course, border war town. Great place to start. Yeah, but it's not. Is it going to be like, some it, orphans? Maybe? It, ha it hasn't actually been. Um, well, tell you until this what we're seeing now. Well, this is where it all begins. This is where it all begins. Yeah. But I'll let you. I'll let you discover it for yourself, rather than me telling you. Yeah, I'm imagining we're going to have some some orphans somewhere, or some fairly recruited rookie soldiers. I'm doing the music so far. Yasunori Mitsuna, man. Same guy who did for Chrono Trigger. Not. 
I get knocked down. When I get up again. Never gonna bring me down. Face stop. Boy, are you persistent? This is this is gonna be uh what's it called? Video video central for a while, isn't it? Uh, not necessarily. Uh yeah, there's actually not that much exposition. Okay, thank goodness. I was like uh, it looks really abstract. But thank goodness. Don't you love that transition? That is a good transition. Oh my god. Sprites on polygons. Oh, nice. Awesome. So I'm Faye. I have a lot of hair. Oh, yeah. Actually, a lot of people have a lot of hair in this game. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was, what happened? <laughs> Cat just ejected the disc. That's probably bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still playing. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be a problem until you hit, a, hit an FMV or something. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. Remember Chrono Trigger? Yeah, the music is really reminiscent. But remember your room in Chrono Trigger? Yeah, I do. Remember where your allowance was hitting Chrono Trigger? <gasps> Under the bed? <laughs> no. I'm just getting the hang of the spinning us around. Because mm -hmm. I'm not yeah, the so, whole 3D stuff. So the other other controls you can use are you can run you can jump. Oh, God. Using, oh, using circle, circle and triangle. Ooh, oh, oh, no. I hope there are not puzzles involving that. There is a little uh, bit of platforming. There's oh. actually a pretty good deal of platforming. Aqua What's the song? tower? Ba ba the Bobble Tower, oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, that's oh. a, that's a, um, <laughs> you know, maybe uh, if we go, you know, so to catch anybody who happens to be watching us screwing around with this, we're speculating um, about whether maybe it would make sense later to switch to an emulator so that we could do things like fast forward or use a game shark code to like speed up the text. Um, and Babel Tower would be like, number one area I would think like where that might be a, like wise or maybe to like just to cut out some random encounters or something mm -hmm. but anyway just you know not only for the viewers but for like our own sanity oh for our own sanity yeah. totally okay now here's where the game may or may not have an issue from our disc oh from the disc yeah. that's exactly what's happening right now yeah alright and right. uh yeah so, I mean we have to do all that over again. very likely yeah and you didn't we didn't get to save, so... Nope. Nothing like a game that has a 10-minute intro with no save point. <sighs> well, uh, I think you can actually, because I, I tested it, you can boogie button through, mash through the initial cutscene, but hit that the PlayStation button, PlayStation and we're going to we're gonna need a quick game and then restart game. Oh, no. Well, well I don't push that. I'm going to push that button. Quick game. Yeah. Wouldn't reset you? Or maybe there's reset as well, but... Well, I'm sorry, viewers, but a cat... Uh, Paused us to need to do all this over again. Yeah, of all the places you could have stepped, and damn capacitive touch it spots on the PlayStation 3. <laughs> Text a little paw, just like it detects a finger. Yeah. Well, about the same size. Let's see if I can put something here as a cat to turn in. Okay, which button did I push to make? Do we actually have any viewers? Is anybody actually going to be bothered by this? Uh, no, there's not no viewers now. But but it says one, it says one viewer though. That's my phone. Mm. But you know, people can watch the rebroadcast. That's true. And who knows? I might even put it on YouTube. Oh, please do. No, why not? We should do like a uh, we should do like an intro though, of ourselves oh, though, like who we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could just do that. So maybe we maybe we could do that. Uh, does it make sense for us to, like, if you actually do this, though? Because we're going to have... Wait a minute. I, yeah, we should have lots of guests. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, if we start through this thing. Yeah, the... Yeah. If I put it on YouTube, I could, like, crop it out, and this could be the start. Yeah, well, then let's do exactly that, eh? Okay. Well, then, welcome to World Time Wednesdays. Yeah. The first, <laughs> of, the first of what's what we hope are going to be many. 
Uh, I'm Mike, one of the owners of Rolling in Gaming. Uh, I'm Frank. Uh, I'm our current player for this particular game. We're in the middle of uh, Xeno Gears, which I've never played before, but apparently it was really hot when I was uh, about 14 years old. Yeah, and I'm Nick. Um, I'm here to run my mouth a little bit, uh, do a little commentary, make some jokes, drink some beers. Sounds That's good. it. So, uh, we've already been through this cutscene due to some technical problems. Um, but, you know, yeah. same Hopefully, stuff. It was better to have it happen, you know, five minutes into the game versus two hours. Too true, Mike, too true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, to recap, we have Ave and Kislev in the war, Kislev in the north, Ave in the south. Gebler swings the balance of power toward Ave, using the mysterious power of gear. The gears! The gears! Which are totally giant robots. Well, you know, most properties have to have a um yeah, different word a, for it. A different name for them. You know, in Xenosaga they were called um what the hell were they called? Eggs or something like that. Mole suits. And, right. Mecha. Frames. Guy Metaf what the hell was it called in Escaflone? This is where it all begins. You know, speaking of uh Mecha and things that were popular in the late 90s. One of the main mecha designers in this game uh, actually did the designs for uh, Gundam Wing, I think. Like a lot of the grunt suits in Gundam Wing, you might notice a similarity between them and some of the, you know, units in this. Oh, that's interesting. I never watched much of Wing, though. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that there's Gundam influence in this game. Mm hmm uh, but specifically Gundam like but, it's, but it's but it's I mean it's specifically the same artist who did who did their mech designs okay and I'm not that series specific that's right that's right um, I think um, I, I dug up on the net like an art book uh, featuring some of his stuff and it features some stuff for both I don't think he did all of the Gundam Wing mechs and I don't I'm not sure he did all the Xenogears mechs but I know that the main the, the guy I'm talking about is the main you know mecha designer and there's a lot of mecha in this game I imagine, like, in any any IP that has lots of mecha in it, some of them are solid winners and some of them are atrocious. Too true. Yeah, that's exactly That have to be my guess. Well, I mean, you know, you're, you're seeing what we, uh, oh! you know. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing the options here. That's really funny, the two-dimensional sprite. Yeah, the, the, the sort of cute little sprites on the polygon background. Um... You know, it's different from how it was in a lot of the other big role-playing games on the system, you know? Yeah. Like, if you compare, it's the sort of direct opposite of a game like Final Fantasy VII or anything like that. I guess it's just like tactics, really. Kind of like tactics, yeah. In the, in the, you know, you have the rotating camera. And the yeah, cutesy little... And polygons and the cute sprites on it with anime kind of influenced character portraits. So I think my prediction was right. We are our fair our hero is a some sort of orphan there. Well, right? you'll you'll find out. You'll find out in about uh, forty five seconds. Yeah. Well, we got slightly f faster further into this game before Cat stepped on the console earlier. Forty five seconds. Well, you still got to reloot all of this area. Yep. Yeah, I think I got some items. Got to get your money. Got to get your Aqua Soul from the Aqua Soul. That was a cool transition, though. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. No, I do not want to rest in the bed. But I need... Because, like, what it's showing off, too, is something technical about the system. Like, like the ability to zoom in so tight on this one texture. Wait a second. See that spider web? Yeah. I Can want I you to do your no-doubt impression. Ah! Jump into a spider web. Walk into a spider web. Oh, and you receive it. Yeah, you can use that later. That's odd. Oh, yeah, I talked to the maid. And the maid says something about... Yeah, yeah, this is where we were before. So we're, we're three years since you came to our village, and totally an orphan. Yep, yep, yep. I think you're gonna make it, strange masked man. I think that maybe he was your real father. I doubt it. Okay, now we're caught up. I said 45 seconds. And you, little kitty, you stay off. Yes, cute they were. Cute they were. Oh. All right.
Who is it? It's a mysterious masked man. Wow, that cutscene depicted exactly what they just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without <laughs> adding that was, that was really necessary. That was totally <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, like, I feel like with a lot of games like this, in the first maybe couple hours, they, like, really, really elaborate on things. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, as you'll see when we get toward the end of the game, like, that sort of density kind of goes by the wayside. So enjoy it while it lasts, this um, willingness to you know, uh, like really drama doesn't show everything. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, like a lot of these big works, it, it gets a little bit sketchier as it goes on. Uh oh, <laughs> never do anything to break his heart. Uh oh. Yeah. There's no chance that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Lady. Yeah, just like there's no chance this pleasant idyllic town is not going to get, uh, yeah, it's something weird. terrible. Happens. I mean, we already, we, yeah, we already know that. Yeah. So it's like, I, I kind of like that the game gives it, gives us credit for like, in a way like this isn't going to last, mm -hmm. you know, like it's, it's clearly, um, it's, Oh, the, he's getting married tomorrow. That's too. right. Yep. I don't think that's going to happen. No, no way that, no, <laughs> Sorry, nothing, Timothy and nothing, Alice. <laughs> nothing could go wrong with that plan. Uh, Timothy. Wow, everybody's talking about three years ago. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that's a really big deal. Well, three years ago, so he wasn't a baby. He was totally an adult. Yeah, he couldn't recall a single thing. That's sweet, Finn. We'll be friends forever. Oh, of course. Pinky swear. Pinky promise. Yep. Oh, yeah. Faye. Timothy's father. Oh, how cute. Faye will be the best man. Uh, uh what, you should be what, happy. What's yeah. your like? Yeah, like what's your problem, dude? Yeah. Circle of life, anyone? Yeah, what's the what's <laughs> like? The, what's the oh, like I can't stand that my niece is like turning into a woman. Like, oh uh, yeah, thank you, thanks for that yeah. information from your point of view. Hey, why don't we bring your girlfriend to go home with? Uh, duh, I live in this isolated village. There's nobody else. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I was as young as you are. Uh, <laughs> Seems like every day I would. Uh... And he, like, cuts himself off. Yeah. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there probably wasn't that much to tell, chiefly. <laughs> yeah, I think we know what, we all know what you did. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, that's, I thought it was a little girl. It's not. It's Dan. As you are every day. It's a child with a receding hairline. Yeah. I know that's feeling. That's what I was thinking. He's like... Is it a kid or a, I, I thought it was an old man at first. <laughs> or a pitch it? I love this. I love this kid's attitude. Pull out, Timothy. Yeah, Tim, marry my sister. I just have some business here with my friend Faye. I love how blunt this kid is. He is a kid. I seriously thought it was supposed to be an old man. No. See you there later, okay? Boy, I wonder who he doesn't want to hear. <laughs> doesn't want to hear him talk. Wait. Oh, that's his pause. Wait, so how do you go into the menu? Uh, it's, um, square. Okay, there we go. But I don't see. Okay, there it is. Yeah, let's just, take a look. Just for fun, let's yeah. see what we're equipped with. No weapon. Martial wear. Martial cap. Stamina ring, yeah. 
martial wear that's pretty big. What does that do? Oh, it just is a healing item. Yep, Aquasol and things like that restore your hit points. Oh, does he have a gear? Nope. Nope. Abilities. And he he has one ether ability. Okay, so ball um, of chi attack sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's not that great. But so in, in this game, characters have different kinds of abilities. So one mm -hmm. are um, so like your just basic attacks in battle will build up to what they call death blows. So you have those, and then you also have things that are like magic spells, you know, that you cast okay. based on your. So it's like you you it doesn't cost anything to do normal attacks in battle, and those add up to bigger ones. Mike, but you can, also, like you can also, um, oh. you can also, um, oh, you can also pay your EP. Here, hand it over. Ether, I ether points. Think you need to generate a, uh, yeah. A, 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 but did we need to do that before we started the game? No, it's right here, and we're gonna sign it to slot one. There we go. And hopefully, because I, I saved it before. There we go. Okay, yeah. good. No, wait, no, no, you it doesn't. It doesn't you can't work. Save here. You have to go to save. That, oh, that's, that's right. Fine. That's, that's right. Fine. That's right. I just wanted to make sure it was functional. Yes. Good. Good point. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. I keep using the stick, and that doesn't work. Wait, that's, is yeah, that where that's, I came? Yeah, that's the way you came came from. Oh, of course. Ooh, pretty smooth load transition, though, for the era. And, of course, they use a good audio cue, the door opening. Anyway, so, Nick, you were talking about battle, right? I guess. Yeah, and I, what I was saying is that, like, you have kind of different attacks when you're on foot, you know, um, like one of them is just like p normal punches and kicks and uh, attacks of that nature. Mm -hmm. And like those don't cost anything to do. And like by kind of putting them together in different combinations, you can both earn and use what called death blows, which are like special attacks. But then there are also attacks like that key attack, chi attack, excuse me, that you just saw uh, that you spend your quote EP or ether points. Oh, which is like, like magic. Yeah, it's like magic. Um... And actually, they have a pretty cool in-universe explanation for how the ether abilities all work. Wait, talk to the cow first before the person. Nice. Maybe it's a goat. I can't tell what it is. No, it's a cow. The talk of the cow. Life of quiet desperation. I never get to leave. Yeah, I never get to leave. I've been thinking from time to time. What's stopping you? Yeah. You don't need to be, like, constrained by these generals. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? No, of course not. <laughs> ah! The bear cows! I love how you get being re you get rewarded for being honest in RPGs. You know, like, I, whenever, oh, I tell, yeah. whenever I tell the truth people in real life, like, they rarely, like, give me items. Why? Hello, Faye. You're not really. A, you're not really a man after all. Yeah, you're. You're a. You're a PC. Just, just, a, just a boy. <laughs> Are these kids following me? No. They're kind of blocked. There you go. Yeah, Timothy asked me to go see her. Why, hello, Faye. I've been ten years. Okay. The two children. Yeah, who's the other one? Oh, Timothy, of course. I mean, I mean, oh, Dan, Dan, yeah, Dan, yeah. Dan. That was what I meant to say. Yes, he's your little brother. So that means that means the the Dan must be at least ten, right? I'm looking at a wedding dress. No, it's yeah. It's... No, it, no, it's just a random outfit. What do you think? <laughs> oh, made it herself. Wow. Well, he's not exactly going to go to J.C. Penny. Well, I thought maybe it was a hand-me-down or something. Oh, yeah, it's true. Often those sort of things are, you know, preserved. Dot, dot, dot. The thing you say where you put in whatever you want, you make them... They're thinking whatever you want to think. Projection effect, man. Yep. Nothing... Hmm, I wonder if there's going to be some relationship drama after Timothy dies. <laughs> gas gas bagging. Bag <laughs> not gas bagging. You know, this translation is not perfect, but I really do like the way they put certain lines. Um, 
Well, I already, and, I, and whoever translated this guy, I think it might have been Richard Honeywood, did like Neoman's work. Oh my god. Like you saw in that opening cutscene how much techno babble there was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like it's all like done in a okay, I would say ninety nine percent of it is reads in a pretty decent way. You're gonna see as as you're well aware, uh Mike, this game has got some kind of awkward translation things, but like yeah. there's so much jargon and stuff. Yeah, I mean, given how the depth of the game, yeah, like, I don't recall ever really stumbling through it or being like, oh come on, like it's like overall pretty good. And like like considering the difficulty of what, what they had to do. You know, like and compared also to such games as, you know, we were privately just joking about Final Fantasy Tactics, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like a couple hours ago, and like the translation in that game, ah, totally that came out, the, this is going. came out the year, the year before this. Oh, right. Yeah. You see where it's going. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I totally see. If, I, if I only, had this call to my If only we'd known each other a little bit longer, maybe this cute young guy, <laughs> it's nothing. I'm sorry. Well, I think we're going. Hey, wait a minute. We can pick up this. We pick up this dramatic tension after Timothy is dead, and we're feeling guilty about having feelings for each other. <laughs> uh, is that a Yeah, there's no. Well, there's. Might knock the camera over. Oh, it gets worse, baby. Gets I, can worse. Only, I can only do so much. Feels She's going to be mischievous. Who am I kidding? Poor Alice. Yeah. Has to, has to marry her childhood friend but because everybody expects that but her heart isn't quite settled but on, on the other hand maybe she's just nervous because this is like a big moment for her and because it's a super small town yeah who knows right like we don't we don't know these characters i mean like well, like well the eligible bachelors in this town like i mean how many guys have you seen if you step outside the village it might be wise to stop i hear guys do i need to do this or no i think you might you might you might enjoy going in there because there's a certain character in here okay that's that's what i want to know yes. hey and there's a save point Okay, well that's a save point? Yes. yes. Am I on it? Oh, the good. You're lucky. You come at just the right time. The memory cube. But do you know who that character is? Wait, is it Toma? No. I would see. I can't see him for not to look at him. Just rotate the camera. I can't. Oh. Wait. Oh, is it? It's Luca. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I can't. See I didn't know that. I love like slam. You're pretty smart for an artist. Yeah, you're right. Now open up those ears and carve every word I say. Now I see it. Yeah, it totally is. Super cool. Just a little cameo. From there, just like the file one. <sighs> we have a viewer. Hey. Nice. Wow. Welcome. Do you see the name? Who's that? Don't don't read me internet names out loud. I'm just gonna get irritated. You well, must be cool. Well, this <laughs> I love this is like Ordeen five hundred one. Uh huh. Oh, I know who that is. Who would that be? My mom. It's Mike's mom. Oh. <laughs> I miss Hi, mom. Fry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I, I was assuming when you say read the internet name, I assume it's going to be something uh, obnoxious. Memory cube. Call my is open up the menu screen. Call my composedly open up the menu screen. Okay, so That's like, so so be careful. Okay. I am enjoying. You better, you better better watch it. I love Luca's like know-it-all, like wordy, yeah, wordy yeah, explanation. Nice. You should say it without hesitating. You never tell what may happen next. Probably. <laughs> I don't want to give up crying. Make sure you save frequently. Well, you want to put Luca's advice to the test? Yep. You're concise. Concise summary. All right. You took it on this time, didn't you? <laughs> I'm such a genius. <laughs> very it good. actually takes the money? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. No receipt. <laughs> hey, um, scientists gotta make her way in the world. Oh, oh yeah, from god. this point of view, she's super recognizable. From the side. Yeah. Like in her head. Again. I totally missed this with my original play. I did, well, yeah, I'm 90% possible. I just either didn't go in here or didn't. There we go. So we managed to create the, uh, create save file. Alright. This block is for a save, yeah. <laughs> That's a good saving sound. <laughs> Alright, 20 minutes in, gotta do a good save. That's good. That's, that is really cool. 
Wow, a very modest intro. Yeah. Martial arts, self-defense. Wow, you sound pretty qualified. <laughs> I, maybe you could skip. Yeah, stuff. yeah, we can, we're we gonna can, skip that. We can, we can tell you all about yeah. it. Sure. Did you know that you can spin the world around with? I, I did. She's in a good spot there. Just see her ears move. Oh, oh the gosh. cat, yeah. yeah. You're lost. There's no need to rush. It's a pretty profound statement. He probably is not going to tell me anything else, too. When it comes to fighting techniques, I tend to be extremely fussy. Uh, no, no! Damn it. I wonder if that control... Is that, like, extra clicking or something? Or, or was that you? That was me. Okay. What I did is I'm clicking to get it to run faster yes. instead of waiting yes. for the arrow to appear. Yeah. He's, re he's uh, referring to these so-called ether abilities. Yeah, he's telling me things you already told me. I think in the settings, we can mess with the text the, speed. Or the, the text feed? Hey, he so. gave money! Don't think so. But we can... Should we take a look in the options? Yeah, check the settings. I think you can change the text speed. I do. But oh, we'll see. I don't think there is an options menu. Or a settings. Yeah, I don't see one. Maybe it's from the main screen. Mm, no, I thought I remember. no. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game that I was yeah, testing. Yeah, um, that's right that's why the um, game shark code and uh, or the you know patch mm -hmm. on the ISO is um, advisable. That's pretty cool. Now I just need to find my way out to go up this hill to go be out of the town when it's attacked by monsters. Well, don't be in such a hurry. You want, don't you want to explore a little more? Oh yeah, I should probably talk to Dan first, or I'm not going to get a chance to talk to him and see what he has to say. Something tells me he won't get killed. Oh, I talked to you. The doctor. He was that dude that's saying, Face stop in the video, right? There's Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Shitan Uzuki. You ready to talk? All right, right to the point. <laughs> uh, uh. It's not too late. late. <laughs> yeah, it does sound a little odd for you to say. Yeah, that. it does sound a little odd. <laughs> Let's do it. Wow, you make your choice. choice. Yeah, you make your choice. <laughs> choice. That's crazy, kid. Faye's a man of integrity. Now, now Al has already said that we need to go visit Dr. Zuki, right? Right. Okay. Wait a second. There's one thing I want I want to show off before you before you go. Yep. In the uh, center of town, uh, you saw that there was a well there. There was a cow. No, I oh, there was a well. Yeah. Why don't you take a? Why don't you try um, hopping in? <laughs> Game over. That's a close one. Uh, don't go down, don't go down the well. The well. <laughs> well, well done. done. You found a weird item. Okay. What was it? Uh, it was weird. We'll look in your, we'll look in your inventory. This is a snar on. I've been able to live in peace. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Is one of them weird item? It's an eyeball. No, it's an eyeball. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, you can sell it. Found you an can, eyeball in the wall. Yeah, yeah, you can sell those things for goods. And it try, you, can, you can even jump in multiple times at multiple items. Weird. Whose eyeball do you find in the wall? Well, an eyeball is a generic type of loot. Um, like, it's like by monsters and stuff. Uh -huh. So it's not a person's eyeball. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. So that's a way out of town. Whoa, whoa, what? Who are you? Welcome to the village. Oh, Who is you, Faye?
So there's the most eligible wife got yeah, taken. The, yeah, the only the only cute girl in town is getting married. Well, rather well, I hear. What do you mean you hear? <laughs> I bet it's because your your body remembers what that's supposed to mean. Muscle memory. Oh, okay. Like, it means he obviously learned how to fight somewhere before he got here. And we But the thing is, like, I sort of don't really buy that for, like, things like art and painting. Like, that would be like, oh, yeah, you can be, like, a good, like, writer, because, like, your fingers remember how to type, you know? Like, it's not just about the motions, is it? No, but, uh, there are certain motions that, you know, would be practiced. Like, you know, you'd be like, oh, why am I doing this? Yeah, true. And then you notice, whoa, it looks good when I move the brush that way, so you keep doing it. I guess it could be. Whoa, whoa, this is, uh... Do all paths lead out of the village the same way? I think this is. I think this is the one you. No, want. during my test, actually, I went out to the. World yeah, but this, home. but this is. You took the path in the right direction, mm. um, so there's no transition here. If you had gone out at separate exit, you would have gotten the world map. But like, honestly, there's nowhere to go. This is the way. To, way to way to proceed. This is the way. That's right. That's right. This is the way. That was got a, got a good feeling. Tactics reference that we'd say. I got a good feeling. This job was a gift from, from God. God. Wait, is that a sign? Please tell me it's a sign. Oh. Oh, it's not a We're sign. leaving a sign of... <laughs> a sign of... All right, so you, as you okay, can see, so... you've got the three buttons here are the, um... Are I the have different... two points? Uh, you have... You, three. You have Bottom three left. points. Bottom left. Oh, okay, yeah, I have three. Yeah, so... Two, two and one. And then that ends your thing. So you'll get more points as the game goes on, up to a total of seven. But right now, the best thing to just do is just use different combinations and just get a bunch of, uh, you know, like sometimes the light blows, sometimes the heavy ones, mm -hmm. a different mix, and using them all will You learn help. different techniques. Yeah, that's right. That sounds like a cool game. Like. Mm hmm All right. Six experience points. This way. Walking cars, watch out for the cliffs. That way, doctor's house, right after the bridge. So we want to go to the doctor's house. Kind of odd that this town would have the doctor's house be, like, way out of town through a dangerous pass. Well, he's a, he's a um, you know, eccentric, just like that NPC was saying. Sure. But, like, someone's really in danger. Like, yeah, if someone that gets hurt. Injury, like, like, I guess someone... Some messenger, I guess, to get him. All right. Ooh, he battles before battle. I think, or maybe it's a stretch. Oh, I see. I'm picking. That yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right. yeah. So those are those are your four options. So I want to attack. I don't want. To and so you one. have even, you have even more. Like you can run too. Was that? Further to the left and right, yeah. there's more options. Yeah. Combo. Um. So you. So, like, you know how you can select only one point. Yep. Like this isn't gonna be important now, but like let's say you were just gonna do one light attack and then end your turn. Mm -hmm. The the points that you did use would be saved up in that so oh, in that AP bar, yeah, I got and it. then you could build up to a maximum of twenty eight points and then expend them all in different attacks. You can't do any now because you don't know any death blows. Once you do, you can conceivably save every points and then like release it all at once. And that's a that's a good. Trick and they to, reset at the end of, at end yeah, of every fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, that's a good trick to do against bosses who, for instance, constantly heal. Mm -hmm. So you can just, like, do all your damage in one turn. You can. Oh, I need to push buttons. I got some jerky. Yeah, those cute little hobgobs. All right. And the person up here. No! Oh! <laughs> that, sorry, guys. Watch, Watch your step, Faye. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's going to happen to us a lot. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, they're across the bridge. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't effectively matter. Ha! Yeah. Got away, fools. Because there was a big gap between us. I hate to um, disillusion you, but that has nothing to do with it. That's hey, okay. we've got some more viewers. Okay, okay, hey, guys. careful, careful. There's a person up here. Oh, it's you, fair. Oh, no. Oh, no, no! Yeah, say hello to the doctor. Right, so you just uh, do, got to run and jump. Yeah, but the buttons are not where I, I want them to be for this type of game. Because the normal run and jump buttons are my active, you know. Well, here it's just like run and then you jump. Yeah, the I'll figure it out. I'll live. You'll, you'll, you'll manage something. Your big all-in-one attack. 
Yeah, you showed that hobnob who was boss. Mm. Own it. I can't. They're, they're like little pig things. They're really weird looking. I think they're supposed to be some sort of fungus. They look. Yeah, I thought they were plant like. I can't. I, I couldn't tell what they are. Well, well, well they, they, turn into, they turn into jerky, so maybe they're, they're protein. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Okay, second try is the charm. Whoop. Even more treacherous that you have to go across that to get to the other place. What, that bridge? The You have to jump over a gap in the cliff. Yeah, that's not going to be good for the doctor's older patients. <laughs> yeah. Not very ADA accessible, is it? <laughs> but I guess in a village like this where everybody knows each other, there'd be no, no problem getting in. Actually, there'd probably be somebody like, oh, Faye, you're young and strong, you run over there and do it. Yeah, well, yeah, go get, go being, get this. Being a good-natured lad, he is. Faye would never refuse, of course. Yay! Mm -hmm. All right. So you'll see that um, you gain different stats. Uh, this, the stats that you gain are randomized. Interesting. Um, and is it is it do different characters have a different like gain or? I believe is it that is yes I, yes that's true. It's um, the the stats that you get are random, but I believe each characters have different um, different abilities. So yeah. for instance, the the doctor Doctor Uzuki who will be joining your party tends to gain a lot of speed, mm -hmm. uh, and I think Faye is more likely to get a strength level up mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, yeah, let's just luxuriate in this gorgeous polygon graphics. That goes all the way back to, like, Final Fantasy 1 style. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Love same I love that. This is the way. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go look around his, his yard for a bit first. What is that? Okay. Is it, I thought it was book on top of the rock. Looks like, like a little chest set. Oh, bird seed. Try it a little bit. Didn't taste very good. <laughs> I could have told you that before. Hey. You'd be surprised what little light grain things what they taste like. When I was doing brewery tours, I used to eat the malts all the time. Oh yeah, the stuff actually the is pretty malts. That stuff can be pretty good. I used to take a taste when my friend Max was doing was like brewing stuff. Okay. Um, uh, surely there's nothing in that box. Yeah, well, sure. But, but I don't no think like... but I don't think you can trigger it right now. I can't. Uh, yeah, I think you I think you need to do some other things. Oh Oh I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, there's clearly something in there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Now it makes me wonder if that fight with the gears earlier was, um... This is a flashback. I think that that gears fight is yet to happen. No comment. But but Dude, let me just say I I can understand I can understand why you might well might think that hmm? the chicken noises yeah this guy likes his chickens whoa and is is this his wife oh elegant elegant anime babe my hind oh, he's tinkering with thing. his junk oh I frequently do that <laughs> <laughs> doesn't he ever get sick of playing with it apparently not <laughs> well you know oh he's got a daughter too Mentori. Well, okay. Cold, little bit of a cold, re like, cold oh, reception. Shy, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. You think, fill it in with whatever you want. I think that she's actually mute. Like, I don't think she's known for delivering any lines. I totally forgot about it. His family. Yeah. Is that, where I haven't played this in, what, 20 years? Open this mm -hmm. treasure chest. I can't open it. Nope. But, but Is yeah. there any money under his bed? <laughs> it squeaks when I step on this thing. Looks like they... Sleep in separate beds. They must not be planning on having any other kids. Or perhaps it's just the like studio being like family friendly. <laughs> no, yeah, I right. It. I doubt it. Oh, there's a chicken in there. <laughs> I thought he was. I love. I love the detail to put in this. Yeah, this is a really detailed bit here. Almost all the interiors in the game that you see are. Uh, like, just the art design for this is so tight. Wait, look in the chimney. Oh, you click on it, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I think there's something in there. Nice. Ooh, you stole his money. <laughs> oh, he's a doctor. He can he can just make up. Oh, no. Yeah. Give me your money. <laughs> okay, he's in the backyard. Yeah, so I, I, think, I think that... Anymore. But I think that... No deceased, please. 
But I think that if you go into that shed again, you'll... Um, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, now that I've like, figured the... Yeah. The, now that I've asked his wife where he is, he's actually there. What's going on? Oh no, you're up there. Dr. Shitan Uzuki. And it's spelled with a C because otherwise they would need to spell his name S H I T A N. Oh, right, oh. right, right, right. But it's supposed to be pronounced. I, I always pronounce it Shitan. Shitan. I did, I did too until I, I saw how it was spelled in Japanese. So it's Saiten, Shitan, 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 whatever. Shitan, yeah. Um, not but shit, it's but this shit. is but that like C spelling is sort of like how you know like in Katamari Damacy they spell like D A M S C Y. Yeah. You know, like it's this, it's romanizing in the same kind of way. We have another viewer. Hey, John. Hey. My brother. Oh, nice. Anybody else died yesterday? Oh. On Pathfinder? You tell right. me later, I guess. Well, I can just tell you that they looted the place, found the dragons, treasure was being kind of sorted out. Nice. Um, amongst the treasure, they found... A scroll of raised in. Ha! Ah! Oh, all right. Well. And they try to use it on you. Did it work? And he rolled a one on his uh, caster level check. Ah! So the scroll burned up. Oh! So you're not alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh. Whoa! It looks like a statue. Uh oh. A music box in a JRPG. Yeah. <laughs> A giant music box that initiated the cutscene. Yeah, John, it was a crit failure, for sure. <laughs> wow. We've had our fair share of those. Yeah, don't let my wife see us. <laughs> Playing with his junk in the backyard. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to remember anything about a naked woman with really long hair. <laughs> or remember anything about maybe before three years ago? Yeah. Or of course, excavated from ruins. Oh, an audio device. Thank you, yeah, Captain. Yeah, okay. Dr. Obvious. There's doctor's not, not... At times, we could have been sheared up. He's like, me look not that good. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the technology level of this world is still not very clear. It's never very clear, to be honest. But yeah, they have like we saw all like, this like, gonna... super high tech space stuff early on, mm -hmm. and now it's you know sort of like, well. I guess you. It, the smartest thing is just to take it as it comes yeah. and not ask too many intelligent questions. But that discrepancy you're talking about, you, you may later see a good reason for. I yeah, would yeah, say. yeah. As if that was that space stuff was in a you know hundred years in the past or future or something. Yeah, thousands or tens of thousands. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, in Xeno games, I imagine there's a lot of weird time skipping like that. Yes. 15 that million just may, years ago. That just may be because you have someone living inside of you. Oh, transmigration of uh, souls, huh? Metempsychosis. Hmm. You'll find that the doctor is given to be given to making. Um, obscure and mysterious and significant yeah. comments yeah. like like those like that like hmm it's better to it better to be a son of man and like just enjoy life in this pastoral village instead of being is he like a Gandalf like angel type figure we shall find out we will but the Gandalf comparison I've never thought of but you know I think that's well you'll see we'll see Oh, but what's this? Uh-oh. 
I feel like at this point in the game, anything could happen. Well, I have some pretty obvious predictions. Because you <laughs> saw the cutscene, yes. Yeah. Timothy's going to end up dead. We're going to find some gears. <laughs> Classic gag. Where have I heard that line before? <laughs> yeah, she's also not saying anything. Yeah, you're real cheer for kid. Oh, well, I guess she's just shy. She's not going to dance with Dan. Nothing to worry about. There's no, nothing could possibly happen. Except for divine intervention. In a bad way. Okay, so that sign is still going to say the same thing. I can hop down here. Oh! Well, that was handy and dandy. I think they've even turned off random encounters at this point. The, the hobgobs have apparently gone to bed. Hobbin and gobbin. Dot dot dot. Uh oh. Could it be a Xeno gear? I'm not sure if it's a Xeno gear, but it's certainly a gear. Oh, so yeah, it hasn't. At all. It was buried. Oh, whoa, that's dark. Oh man, three formation, just like the Zaku is coming in. Giants? Those rookies? Shake, I don't know. Why would they be attacking this crappy little village? I mean, pastoral paradise. <laughs> My mom's testing out twitch emotes. Testing out what? The twitch emotes. Oh! What is that? Holiday cookie? I should save here. I feel like this is a point to save. Nick, can you grab me one of whatever you're grabbing? Yeah, I'll have one too. So, can you mix and match characters and gears, or does like every character have their own gear and that's it? Every character has their own gear. Okay, but there's no like. I'll take Faye in the, you know, Faye in the uh, Gelgoog and. No, unfortunately, no. But there's plenty of uh, room to customize the gears with different equipment and stuff. Okay, now we're getting into 3D problem land. Okay, I found my way to go. Pretty upsetting, man. Ooh, I gotta get a look at that gear. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. There you are. There you go. Oh, what is this? It's a screwdriver. Ah, thank you. Really, it looks like a drink to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> love that. Oh, do these. So we're looking for Dan, right? Yeah. 
Doc, no, I can't just leave Dan behind. In fact, at, I'm gonna look, die. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna die saving him. Look at that. You know, like he's uh, Timothy's pretty dutiful. Yeah. You know, and the thing is that like Alice like isn't 100 percent on it, but like. Timothy really never gives any good reason why he, you know, yeah, like yeah, I mean, why, no obvious reason why. Other he than they were be just a, like childhood friends. Yeah, and know, so like, like, and so you know, Alice is sort of like feeling understandably. Yeah. Um, why does she feel like you she's know she's marry like him. maybe he's like too much of a brother or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, I totally relate to that. But Timothy's way of thinking and uh, mm -hmm. Alice's way of thinking just might not be the same. Yeah, and it didn't work out, you know. Right. So, who would still be left in the village like this? I mean, maybe if someone broke their leg or something. True, it's possible. Like, okay, that's pretty cool looking gear. Yeah. Obviously, a bad guy suit since it has a skull face. And that like samurai like helmet. And then this, you know. This, this gear's unique design um, makes it look a little less bad. Whoa! Yeah, it's shooting giant bullets, man. Nothing like having no experience piloting a giant robot. And, and getting and inside And getting one? inside one? Uh, <laughs> so, Faye, are you a new type, perhaps? May not be a, may not be a new type, but certainly pretty special. This is pretty good animation for the time. Oh yeah, yeah this must have been. Oh, the cutscenes are great. Yeah, this must have been killer in 1990, whenever. Yeah, 98 was when it came. Seven was when it came out in Japan, even in the U.S. I think. Hey, I saw an ominous, an ominous I shot. I see the pilot. The pilot looked pretty some, young. Some sort of pilot, or some sort of figure. Inside the gear. Yeah. If you know where the pilot is. You can open the door and get him out. And yet it seems like there may may not have even been a pilot, or maybe the pilot was already on the ground. Oh yeah, now it's really ominous and, and uh, unsure. Oh, do it, Faye. Yeah, don't fight in the middle of a city. Oh man, he's gonna be real upset if it turns out he's responsible for Timothy dying. That's gonna heap even more guilt onto him and Alice's situation. Well, you better just make sure you don't let that happen. <sighs> Whoa, cool. Linguistic modifier enabled. Boost. Power outfit. I love that, like, Attack they show you, show you the techno bevel, yes. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's got, they gotta make it technical. You're fighting a... Yeah, um, you're in a gear. Robot. Okay. Alright, so, so, you know, hit the... I'm hit trying the to hit some text. buttons. There you go. Lamb. Ignis dialect. No power experience. Easy mode set. Oh, great. Synchronizing input interference with... Synchronizing Combat mode. Oh, nice. Can you run out of fuel? That's right. Awesome! Your fuel gauge is in the bottom left. And it's just like the foot attack. Oh, okay, so it's, it's just it's, like that. It's just like the foot attack ex attacks, except instead of spending AP, you here spend fuel. And what is charge? Charge is a command that you can use to restore fuel. So, you, so if you ever run out of fuel, you can recharge it, but at a very limited rate. Okay, so right now what I want to do is just attack. Booster. No, I don't want a booster. I'm on it. I want to attack. Yeah. So press one of those buttons. And, and let's then see. select the amount of fuel you want to use. Alright, so a light attack. The Musha. Yeah, and this one, they do have a kind of samurai look, you know? Mm -hmm. Sort of Japan esque look. What? Damn it. I don't know what I'm on. There we go. Now I'm on attack. 
Oh, so I can't do combos. I can't do like three in a row. I can only do one. That's right. You can only select one of these. Ah, you missed. This is, uh, you don't have the ability to get past attack level zero yet because you don't know any death rolls. But once you learn more combos on foot, okay, you'll be yeah, able to this execute is me more. Nuts. That's when I'm on attack. Okay, I'm an item. Let's do a big one. Boom! It was big. <laughs> Looks like a Gundam walks like a Gundam. But it's not a Gundam. It's not a Gundam. Definitely not a Gundam. Somehow it doesn't quite have the same ring to it as it's a, it's not a Gundam <laughs> by an NPC. Oh hey. Oh hey what? Is that uh Jason? TJ Kitsune, I remember the name. You know who it is? Yeah. I don't know uh, a lot of Jasons, but Um Neutral friend with Kyle. Cool. Welcome to all our viewers. Welcome to the stream. Streaming some Xeno Gears, and we just did a gear fight. Xeno Gears, even. Thanks for I'm tuning not in. Be, I'm not going to be picky about it. Xeno, Xeno. Yeah. What did I gain? 100, 100 G. No, that it's not gil or gold, it's just G. G. Yeah. G. <laughs> Can we spend a G? Uh oh. Another pretty pretty tight design. Oh, those ones coming in look kind of cool. Yeah, with a little short, choppy wings. Mm -hmm. We're not getting a great look at them, but that's okay. Yeah, those look pretty good, too. There's three. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, no. Oh. There's four. Of course. I guess there's no choice but to fight. <laughs> hey, since we have some viewers, I don't think we'd ask yet uh, if everything sounds okay. Like, oh yeah, our mic balance and game audio and such. If you could let us know. Yeah, let me know if you hear me fart. Well, okay. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Faye, the way you are fighting. If he awakens here, you know this. Dun -dun. This Doctor Uzuki has a sort of data like, um, you know, verbal tick, and that he doesn't use a lot of contractions. Mm -hmm. You know, he's kind of a formal, uh, stuffed shirt kind of guy. One could say, um, very much the intellectual. Voice audio cuts out. Okay. For a brief second. I'm not sure what that could be. Could it be that the gain is too, too high? It could be. Yeah, it is kind of maxing out here. Yeah. Here. I do this. So now it's not going into the yellow. Yeah, you, you don't want to be in the yellow at all. So then maybe we could re also uh, reduce the game volume so that it also isn't like, you know... Yeah, I've got that reduced down pretty low already. But maybe just to keep the balance right, we could reduce it to slightly more. See how that goes. I guess you will Faze take the side that monster. That's right. Nah. So, so he came back to find his, his wedding so, 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 dress. Yeah, I was getting it. No, it was oh, his wedding dress. Faye is bound by the dark, cruel uh -oh. destiny. <laughs> Uh-oh. What kind of line is that? And then we see the face of the gear. Yes, the belt hall. It's a very Dick Trandag line right there. Dark, cruel <laughs> destiny. Well, you know, I got my over-the-top lines from the best. And... We're bound by the dark, cruel destiny of God. <laughs> what can I say? I said with a hand to the face. Boy, I'm glad you're okay. Everything's gonna be great now. Uh oh. Huh? You're about to get stepped on. My genre awareness. Oh no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get down! No, Timmy! 
of the way, you bastards. That mixture of spray and polygon is so neat. I said, stop it. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't think you're gonna be able to pull it off. Ooh. I mean, you see this mysterious ticking cross. Hmm, a mysterious evil looking kid that was inside the gear earlier. Uh oh, he's going Super Saiyan. Oh, Alice 2? Double whammy. Typical anime mass destruction scene. Alice too? Oh boy. And good thing they saved that wedding dress so you can be eternally reminded. Correct. Oh! My boy. Steven is now watching. Uh, you're playing Xenogears. It's Xenorific. Yep, we've just seen our main character get traumatized. Won't be the last time. Well, when you are a mecha pilot, that's usually how your story starts. Oh, you With finally gained trauma. consciousness, Faye. I don't know how to break this to you. Where's uh, Timothy? Did, what did I... You killed him. Well... Well, you didn't kill Timothy. You definitely killed yes, Alice. Yes, well, that is... Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, you're making this really <laughs> awkward. Uh, you murderer! No, 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 no. Dan, what do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. People of all draw. Well, okay, obviously not everybody, because they're surrounded by people, but... Yeah, it's like, well, I don't want to call... I don't want to call... Good question. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, ooh. It hurts. It hurts. That's that's Faye's heart speaking. That's yeah. not a child. Oh, poor Faye. So now we're going to get the uh, um, secret amount of treatment. Yeah, get yeah that's right. Get right. fucking kicked out. Mm -hmm. You're not needed here. Get out of the village. Yeah, you were supposed to run away with her and marry her. Now you killed her. <laughs> a malfunction on the gear. Well, well, it did just emit this gigantic flash of. Uh, never mind. Yeah, right. I hate oh. you. Well, I mean, he's a kid. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, man. Three periods never said so much. It may be a good idea for you to leave this place. I love yeah. how he put it like that. Yeah. Might be. Maybe might be a good idea. And how he, like, backs it up with some sort of military justification. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a military. Yeah, we'll probably. Also. <laughs> I do not think the atmosphere is... Yeah, you're right. He doesn't use any contractions. If you know what I mean. <laughs> nice understatement, Doc. Don't think it's gonna be very joyful. No, no, no. Hey, let's, see, let's oh, let's have Faye over for dinner. Oh, yeah. Hey, Faye, remember that time you like kill our friends? Oh yeah. yeah. Black Moon Forest. Yes, they were kid Kisla soldiers. So we want to go south towards Ave. All right. I do understand, Doc. Please take care of the rest of the things here, Doc. Man, I remember when I first played this game, I was like, my heart was like breaking for poor Faye. You know, because like... Oh, the very beginning of this? Yeah. It was just this whole, just this whole, whole setup, you know? Like, 
you get involved in this thing without wanting to, and you end up like hurting these people who are like so dear to you. Yeah. And, and now you just you just don't know anything about yourself, and you're being just like cast out because of this thing that like wasn't even your fault. Oh. It's just what happens when you screw around with giant robots. Yeah. Yeah. You imagine might be a little bit, and you might, even when he's forced to, have uh, some issues with uh, piloting that thing again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think? Yeah. Well, he'll definitely never see that robot again. No, never. He'll, he'll never get inside <laughs> either. He's turned a new leaf. Become a pacifist. But that's the funny thing about pacifism in these games. Sometimes it doesn't... Sometimes you just can't pass it up. Pass. Oh, pass on passive. I like that. That's right. Oh, yeah, you can hear the world map theme now. And take a. You can rotate the camera here as well. Okay, so where am I? I'm supposed to go through that forest, I assume. Correct. Well, first I'm going to take a little stroll down here and see if I can. S Faye takes a soulful look at the ocean. Yeah. Which actually, I mean, that's like rolling waves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't see it too well because of the, um... I wonder if it would be possible to change the, like, brightness on this. Yeah, you know, it does look, it's, does look a little, it little does, dark. Yeah. Whoa, little kobolds! Okay, little these kobolds. guys look cool. They have bo he had a bow, but he decided to hit me with it. Let's give him a strong blow. The brain is especially little, apparently. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to adjust the brightness so my... Get away. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, three light attacks were not enough to kill him. Yeah, that's probably enough. We'll just see if it oh, looks, looks any different on the, um... Yeah, during the yeah. year scenes, it was definitely... Yeah, it was a, little, a, little, a little slightly, slightly too dark, yeah. Okay, fencing cap. I wonder if that's better than what I got. It's a key component of RPGs, you know. Yes. Finding random... Yeah, that looks a little better. Discarded clothing from... Yeah, this kobold had this great gear. Is it better than my martial cap? Why it yeah, is? Yeah, it one to your defense. Okay, so wait a second. When we're, can we just look yeah. at the screen for a second? Let's just take a look at the stats. So we have attack, hit percent, defense, evade percent, ether, ether, ether death, and agility. And you see how they're like different colors? Mm -hmm. Like that... It's not that attack and hit are related. Like, they're all independent. Right. They're all independent of each other. It's just for... To make it easier to read that they change their, um... Their color. So it's like... Your, 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 um... Ether defense, for instance, is not a function of your ether score. Okay. Like, they're, they're independent. Oh, wow. It's been an hour. Mm hmm Time flies in the world's you know years. Uh, well, you... Wait till, wait till <laughs> I might you get to... I might... Wait till you get to Babel Tower and say that again. Yeah, I might be... Reach... Oh, I can't actually go into the forest. I thought well, I could. Well, from this angle, but maybe you can try a uh, different angle. If you look. There's only one entrance to the forest. Yeah, it's, just, it's just not, the, tried, not quite on that. You tried to spank me that, when I was bending over there and missed. I love how like, it still animates the arrow like being inside your body. Bomb on a stick is not very effective. This guy is trying to copy Link's move. He's not working too well. Do, 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 do. It, the music does have a sort of a like real reminiscent to Final Fantasy Tactics too. Well, it's um, Similar. it's a different composer because so this is Yasunori Mitsudo who also did the music for Chrono Trigger, Xenosaga, Chrono Cross. Um, actually, we were I was playing that Kirita music for you guys last weekend. Um, Black Moon Forest. Like and uh, what else did he do the music for? Um, Curate. No, that's what that, that song I was play, playing for you guys. Uh... <laughs> Is that Log Snake? Now I'm having the issues with the graphic issues where I can't look where I want to look. Oh no, more. There's a lot of enemies. Oh, sure, I'll have a key. Thank you. Oh, you have four uh, 
attack points or whatever. Yeah, you gained uh, you gained some. So you could try out some combo. Mm hmm. Hop down, hop down. Oh, I do a combo? Well, you have to uh, learn them yeah. naturally. First. Yeah, you need to learn the death blows first. And, and to learn death blows, you can check in a menu, but I think the fastest way is just to use a variety of different attacks. Just do them in different order, yeah. yeah. So it's like sometimes square mm. triangle, sometimes qu triangle square. That's kind of what I've been doing anyways. Yeah. Okay. Really just doing it with the most variation is probably the best way. There is a more eff effective way, but... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're doing that. The game is not that hard. We'll be going through enough combat. Yeah. There'll be plenty of chances to try out different combos. <laughs> So this big log, one of them looked like it had something at the head of it. Yeah, there's like a spread up there or some sort. Alright, it's, but yeah, it's not good. Oh, that was it. There's a hop so out there. Up, yeah. But I think that there... I don't know, I don't think you can jump up on any of this stuff. Where am I supposed to be going? Is that a treasure chest? Oh, there we go. Oh, that must no. Be that must be it. Or platform. Between... The, the, that, that is my one big problem with the sort of, like, between the 3D world where I can't quite tell what the stuff is. I feel you'll get used to it. To it. Enough of a degree. Armor grub. Whoa. Two points of damage instead of one. Wow. Well, it doesn't seem to be taking a lot of hits. Wait, try your ether attack. I wonder if that would do do more damage. Like if you go up to cheat. Let's see if ether will uh, attack. There you go. There we go. Wrapped. It wasn't a very cool looking D shop though. His later abilities look better. We have been live since about 7 p.m. What time is it now? It's uh, almost 8 30 now. Okay, so, so I we had a false start. But wait, what if you jump on that jump on that thing? Oh my god, what a knock shit. What a... That is what you have to do, isn't it? Here. No, I can do it, I think. Because, like, I've platformed my way through a lot of this. So, like, if you get frustrated, I'm happy to try okay, it again. So I, could, I could jump down there out of that log. And get that item. And get that item, but that means that I have to come back up here again. Ah, I was so close! It's not like Final Fantasy 1 where there's a random encounter right in front of certain... No, 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 it's, uh, it is strictly random. But the thing is that, um... And yeah. this, and everybody agrees that this is a problem with this game's design. There's a prop like, sometimes when you're trying to, trying to, like, run up to, like, make a jump, sometimes you will get a random encounter, and it will, like, mess up your jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. So, yeah, everybody, um, agrees that that is a problem with this game's design. Biz fruit. It's also probably time for me to use them Aqua Souls. The game agrees. So this makes you on uh, this is this puts you on a different level than before. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think you need to. Yeah, you need yeah, to. Yeah, I gotta go back. Go back, go back, go back. Actually, don't chi attack. How long does it take to beat this guy? Yeah. Were those things dealing like one damage? But if they all do one, you might as well do all triangles. Right. Yeah. What are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. So. Zero damage. Um, so as you've seen, this game's cutscenes are dubbed. But something that's kind of interesting is, like, I believe for these, like, battle sound effects, that is the original Japanese voice actor. In other words, they didn't have the Engl like, English dub cast, only did it for, like, the things that, like, really needed to be English. Yeah. So for things like, oh, yeah, 
they like they just kept the um, they kept the original voice yeah they kept actor. the original because yeah. you know they didn't want to pay any extra extra necessary I suppose there's very little voice in this game only yeah, only for cutscenes and like actually for card games you remember the card game the characters will make a quote like you know that was too easy or <laughs> something like I don't that at the end the card game um, you play it on the on the temps it's real it's real minor yeah so do I have to make a running jump for uh -oh. that thing I don't think so Apparently I, I don't know. I was only there on one. I'll try. Yeah. After this, you do it. Oh, there it actually got me for one. I'm regretting. All right, go for it. All right, let's see if I can do this. No! <laughs> not so oh, easy, is not it? so easy. Not so easy. Well, I got further than you. Hey, I made it all the way up at least once. Oops. The, uh, the thing is, I... Oops. That was the menu. I think the thing is that you want to kind of jump and then... Wait. You kind of want to jump and then, like, input direction in a way. So jump, input, and then... There we are. All right. Oh, well, let's just play for a little bit longer. Yeah, well, that's fine. We're relatively safe. We're doing. All right, so this takes us to another level. Jump, jump down. Whee! All right, so there seems to be nothing over here. We'll continue to the right. There's that hobgoblin. There's that hobgoblin. Yeah. Go get him! Get him! He seems to be blocking a boulder. Or maybe it's another log with the graphics. That, 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 Actually, that, yeah. That's my other big issue. Ooh, look at all these. I can't tell. Oh, lots of them. Just some crazy combos. I will. Yeah, I've been trying to vary it as much as possible. Yeah, it's really unclear what the heck those things are supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> We have another friend viewer. Oh, someone you know? Uh, Liz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz from the uh, that we were, saw at uh. Nope, not that. Did you? I'm that. guessing it's Liz K. Um, I'm sure you. There we go. Uh oh, it's been a little while. Better since get out of the way. Events. Follow it. No, it it rolled away. Oh. Opening this, opening this path. So let's continue with Black Moon Forest. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wherever she is, she's bilingual. It's such cute little sprites. Mm-hmm. She's got big hair, too. I do, but yeah, a lot of people have big hair in this world. Not that I'm complaining. So she's being chased by kids left, too. Mm, yeah, that's right. I sense us teaming up. I have orders to go all surface dwellers. Lambs. Whoa, whoa, I come okay. in, and you'll you'll notice this like dashes on the side of a word to like indicate that it's like special. Yeah. Uh, it, constantly in right. this game. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. I just have to kill you. Right. Maybe I won't tell you if you kill me. How do I get out of here? Good line. Oh. <laughs> She's like, so disappointed. The one dangled hair that comes out of the front of his face mm -hmm. that's like so huge. Yeah. Oh, I love that trash. It's so great. How long are you just gonna stand her like that? 
actually, for for a year, I would comb one hair coming down in the front of my, my you, face. You would. But, of course, I never had hair that was all the way down to my ass like his. Oh, a different sprite for Faye. Oh, you don't care about what's in I'm just a guy whose life is worthless. There's no point in me living. That's right. How do you like it? Yeah. I agree. I agree that I should get shot. Uh-oh. He's totally like, oh. <laughs> I, I kind of like this scene. It's just like, suicide, yeah. Like, you're weird. True. This looks very wrong. Yeah, dude. something is wrong. <laughs> uh oh! Oh! Keep your hands off of Ellie. Uh oh, he's from the underground world too, isn't he? Underground world. Yeah, she said that. She said surface dwellers. Oh, maybe surface she's not. dwellers. So well, I assume she was underground. Oh, whoa, these guys actually hit. Ah, uh, you'll manage somehow. Yeah, I will. Forest elf. Forest elf, yeah. Starting with a headbutt. If you ever headbutt someone, it hurts like fuck. I <laughs> headbutted really a soccer ball and that was enough for me. Yeah. The Zeta Soul. The Zeta I believe, I believe brings you back from the dead. Or is that a Mega Soul? I forget. From being, having your life threatened to saving the life of your attacker. Yeah. It's just an ordinary 45 minutes in Ignos. By the way, I've got your gun. I mean, how are you feeling? Also, get a dot dot dot. Go right ahead and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Forest monsters hate loud noises, you know. I kind of like Faye's attitude, like, for all of this. <laughs> Just, like, doesn't give a fuck. But it wouldn't kill a thing if you're tending your wound, yeah. Well, he's cranky. I'd be cranky too if I just. Thanks, but you stole shouldn't have helped friends. me. Don't think it will save your life, though. It really doesn't. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what are you so afraid of? Being yes. you being more edgy than me? I'm just being caught. Yeah, sure. What a cope. It's natural for me. It's a service dwelling land. <laughs> what was that? We were playing this game recently. Um. What was that called? That sort of uh, versus card game? You know, by the uh, mate, guy who made magic. Oh, right. Uh, Keyforge. Yeah, Keyforge. Mm -hmm. And so, like, one of the, um, you know, uh, resources in the game is called Ether, but it's like A E T H R. So we were constantly just ripping on, like, Ether. And I feel that, like, when they, when they use, like, the sort of hyphens on the side of the words in this game, it's like the very same. The same like, hey, lambs. <laughs> What's your name? I bet it's Ellie. Fei Feng Wong. You can call me Fei. Ha! Huh. They are from the Ellie, same huh? world. Ellie, huh? Somehow I already knew New that. I already... What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait till daybreak. If that's okay with you. Okay then, Ellie. You're cuter than Alice. I mean, how about we have something to eat? <laughs> Faye, upgrading on the ladies. <laughs> One exits, another enters. Ain't that the way in these type of worlds? By the way, I, I know these cutscenes are great, but like, don't get too used to it. Oh. They're like much, much, much more frequent toward the start of the game than toward the end. <laughs> Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa! Anatomically disproportionate people. They're just anime characters. 
Yeah, but they were really like, their proportions were really weird in the last shot. The kid had mastered the art of Throne's voice while moving his lips to a different rate. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be pissed too if a bunch of people dropped me in the middle of the desert, even if I wasn't a kid. <gasps> it's the mysterious Tick and Cross. Alright Liz, thanks for checking in. You can catch the VOD later if you want. Yeah, well... Do, uh, oh, let's take a look in the menu! Okay, so they do, they do it like Rona Trigger and they have the other character following you. Okay, she's level 4. She's lower level. What is she equipped with? So you can use R1 and L1 to switch between characters. She, she uses rods. Okay, so her magical rod, mm -hmm. that's not her pistol, I assume. That's right, she only uses a gun in FMVs. I mean, that is a slang. My. Yeah, it's, okay, yeah, you're quite right. I that whip rod, out my rod. My rod, it's sort of like, it sort of like of, along the same lines, it's like it'd be a gat or yeah, something. It's it like, is. no, this that's, is a fuck, no, this is like a, exactly the you know. Same. Okay. Oh, this is like the uniform. kind of rods that you probably juggled or something. Yeah. Ether um, stone, anti ether stone. Yeah. So, so looking at those, you can see where they do. Um, actually, I think if you strip her of the pile, of of these things, you can maybe sell them and get some money. Doesn't? It's not really that important though. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that. I don't know how. I'm not. I'm not going to game the how long is she in my party? Should I take her equipment off? I'm, we're not playing the game. Fine. Oh, 92 pounds, huh? Oh yeah. What is it? That? Oh my god, that's super funny. Where's her blood type and, like, height and all that? You know, like, anything, you know, like, this isn't my joke, we need to but, know. you know, like, when people talk about zodiac, your zodiac sign, like, controlling your, um, you know, your destiny and your compatibility with people, that's complete no. bullshit. It's your blood type. Right. It's all about your blood type. <laughs> you know? What are they thinking? The stars? Come on. Okay, she's got more EP. Okay, so she's a, she's a spell Yeah, master, yeah, and so. if you look at her, so, okay, so let's look, let's just take a look at the menu. So, skills... Are uh, if you look at if you yeah go for, ether is way higher but like if you if you actually like hit um, X and go into skills it's death blow she doesn't know anything and Faye no oh, so this is what he's this is his progress toward learning them mm. oh I forgot yeah so you can check your progress toward learning these things Ellie's like if, if it's below fifty percent it won't won't appear okay so right she didn't know so any of them. so those are death blows look at abilities though um and it's either either way so yes, Faye so and then right. Ellie has these magical attacks. Terra Lance, Earth Attack. Yeah. Ice, okay, water, fire, yeah. fire. Starts attack. with all the elements. Yeah, Great. cool. Correct. Well, would you and I know? Nice. There's a good reason for her being into the elemental magic, so to yes. speak. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't know the way out. If I jump, she follows me. Okay, good. Oh, a sign? Perfect. Okay. Beware of landslides. We're definitely going to Ava. There definitely won't be a landslide. Oh, wait. Look at... Isn't that cute? The uh... game The game has the hobgob hop to show you how to do it. Yep. You that know? is cute. And useful. Except... No, you gotta, you gotta go back around, yeah. And then get to the save, save a point hole. Oh, no. I gotta go up and around you've made it without a battle. Uh, something tells me that there's no battles here then. Alright, so that one. Okay, so I want to go this way and that that's actually something I need to hop over. There you go. Yeah, I've got. Oh, 